Fabric is an amazing open source project that promises to give you all the tooling you need to solve everyday problems using artificial intelligence. And you can kind of think of it as a library of tried and true prompts that work incredibly well. These are community generated prompts and reviewed that really work on a wide array of different problems that you may face. So I'm gonna show you how to install Fabric, then I'm gonna show you how to use it. So quickly, this is Fabric. I'm gonna drop the GitHub URL in the description below so you can find it yourself. It's completely open source, completely free. You can use it with GPT-4, you can use it with any open source model, you can run it locally, anything you want. And it covers a lot of different use cases that are being added to and iterated on all the time. So here's just a few examples. Extracting the most interesting parts of YouTube videos and podcasts, writing an essay in your own voice, summarizing opaque academic papers, creating perfectly matched AI art prompts for a piece of writing, explaining code, turning bad documentation into usable documentation. And all of these are done with incredibly detailed prompts that work well. So all you need to do is first open up your terminal and we're gonna git clone the repo. So I'm on my desktop, I just type git clone and then the repo URL. So I'm gonna hit enter and it's cloning the repo to my desktop. Now we're gonna CD into it, so CD fabric. Now you need poetry for this. And I actually struggled a lot getting poetry working on my machine, but I think that's because I had a really kind of messed up Python environment. If you have any issues, drop your problem in the comments below. Hopefully I'll help you. You can also jump into my Discord. I'll drop a link to the Discord in the description below. Now, if you don't already have poetry installed, this is how you install it. So curl-ssl, the poetry URL right here, pipe python3 dash. So I'll go ahead and do that again, but I already have it installed. Yep, so already installed. But if you don't, it'll install it for you. Now, the next thing you have to do is just run the setup script. So dot slash setup dot sh and then hit enter. All right, it's done. So we see this command ts not found, and I think you can just ignore that. I haven't found any problems by having that issue. So to apply the changes, please run the following commands in your terminal. This will just restart your shell, but you could also just simply open up a new tab. I'm using zshrc, so I'm gonna grab that, paste it here, hit enter, and that restarts the shell. All right, so interestingly enough, I have a parse error in my ZSH file, which I've not seen before, so I'm gonna fix that with you live. So I opened up my ZSHRC file, and it said the problem is on 133, so let's take a look. Here it is. Conda initialize, okay. So I don't know why that happened, but I'm just gonna put it right there and now all of a sudden it should work. So I'll save it and let's continue. So I saved, let's try it again. All right, that time it worked, great. So now it should work. So let's just type fabric dash H and there we go. So it worked, that's how to install it. Now, let me show you how to use it. The first thing you need to do is give it your GPT-4 API key. And if you don't wanna use GPT-4, there are other ways where you can use Claude, you can use local models, anything you want, but that takes a little bit more effort. So we're gonna type fabric dash dash setup, and then I'm gonna hit enter. So I created a new API key, I'm gonna paste it in. I am gonna revoke this key before publishing the video. Hit enter. And if we have a Claude API key, it asks for that. If we don't, we're just gonna hit enter and then it's updating all the patterns. So it's downloading the actual prompts that we're gonna be using. And everything got added successfully, but we have to restart our terminal to use them. So back to this and we're gonna do source users, Matthew Berman, ZSHRC. All right, now fabric dash H just to make sure it works and it does. And let me teach you about the terminology. So here are the components we have the mill and the mill is optional, but that's a server where you can make patterns available. So if you wanted to open up a server to do that, that's how you do it. A pattern is the granular AI use cases, AKA the prompts. The stitches are patterns that are put together in different ways to create even more sophisticated outcomes. Then we have the loom, which is a client side app that can call the specific pattern, but we're gonna do everything CLI native. So we're gonna type fabric dash dash list just to see a list of the different patterns and look how many there are all of these so we have create logo create keynote extract references and again all of these are very tried and true prompts so let me actually show you that real quick so here is a prompt for analyze paper so identity and purpose you are a research paper analysis service output sections very well formatted very specific to reading and al analyzing papers. And then it gives output instructions. So basically give the output and then we have the input right there. Okay, so we have a bunch of those. 
all right here. So I have my video here that I posted yesterday. This is the simple introduction to large language models. I spent a lot of time on it. So if you haven't seen it, check it out if you want a basic introduction to LLMs. And so we're gonna grab the transcript right here. We'll turn off the timestamps and I'm simply just gonna highlight all of it. Copy, switch back to terminal and we're gonna do PB paste. So PB paste and then you have the pipe, fabric, dash dash pattern extract wisdom. And what this command is gonna do is automatically take what's in my clipboard and then extract all the wisdom from it. So let's see what it does. Now it's gonna be a little slow because it's using GPT-4, but imagine if we were using Grok with this, that would be super fast. And they're making incredible progress on this. They're coming out with new features, new prompts, also known as patterns. I believe they're coming out with a user interface to make the entire thing more easy to install for everybody. Now, if we wanted to see the output while it was going, we would just use dash dash stream as a command and we'll actually see the output as it's going. But there we go. Okay, so it took my video. This video provides a comprehensive introduction to AI, great ideas, LLM. So it talks about all these different ideas that I put forth in that video. It takes quotes from it. These are direct quotes, habits that are found in the video, facts from the video, references, and recommendations on how to follow up based on all of this knowledge. So very, very cool, extract wisdom. So now I wanted to actually analyze my claims and stream it. So let's go ahead and hit enter. All right, here we go. Claim one, AI and LLMs have re revolutionized various industries. And here's the evidence and claim two. So it actually extracts all the claims from my video and either supports or refutes them or both. So, and then it gives me an overall score. So the lowest claim score is a C, the highest claim score is a B. Interesting. So I think this is awesome. Check it out. I'll drop all the links in the description below. If you like this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.